Hi, this is Samantha, and my name's Dan Price, and uh, we wanted to say hi to everybody out there that's checking out Doggedly Dog Rescue Society. That's how me and Samantha met. We were connected uh, with Doggedly Dog Rescue Society. And it was a really great process. Um, I applied, I filled out an application for her. Um, and then uh, after I applied, um, I submitted a bunch of references and uh, the references all had to go and write, you know, why they thought I would be good for her and they knew a little bit about her. Um, and then uh, had an interview process. And, you know, I think that fits really important for every dog, but with Samantha specifically, she had been abandoned in a backyard. Um, I think probably the family uh, that had her before maybe was hit pretty hard by the pandemic financially. And so she got abandoned during the pandemic and I had lost my dog, Mikey, um, who was 17 years old. Um, and I'd had him from seven to 17 and I'd lost him during the pandemic. So I was looking to work with another dog that maybe could use a little bit of extra love and care to, to uh, get through that sort of abandonment uh, issue. Samantha uh, was four years old, she's five now. So, you know, she was an adult and it's really hard for a dog like that to, to be abandoned and to have to fend for themselves for a month, let alone lose the emotional connection with her prior family. Um, and uh, she comes from uh, what they call a, a high kill area, which basically means that the um, there was a good chance that the pound would have euthanized her. And that would be such a shame because, so tragic, because she's such a, a good dog. She just needed somebody to work with her a little bit. We've been working together for the last year, and of course, you know, we're, we'll be in our, our each other's lives uh, for a really long time. But for the last year, I've been uh, training her, and she's a really good runner and sprinter. She loves chasing squirrels and bunnies. Um, and there's a park close by where she can do that safely a little bit. Um, she also loves uh, do dog beaches. She's not a big fan of dog parks, but She's a, a really great athlete. She's super fast. So we go out and sprint together and we have such a fun time. Um, and she loves playing fetch. She likes to exercise at least two hours a day. So she keeps me really active. We walk together about five miles every day. And then we also play fetch for a long time and she loves it. And she loves her meal time and her treats. But most of all, she loves snuggling and she loves love and affection. She's so loyal and sweet. And so she was the perfect dog for me after losing my longtime best buddy, best little buddy, Mikey, uh, that I had before that. So I'm so grateful for her and I'm so grateful that Doggedly Dog Rescue Society not only matched us up, but really, you know, listened to us and tried to find a good match because this was just like a perfect match in terms of her personality and being small since I live in the city and she's just doing so good. And she's like my little angel. So I'm so proud of her and I'm so grateful to Doggedly Dog Rescue Society.